Hey, how's it going? It's Heather with Papers, Caffeine, and Life. Grab your favorite drink, pull up a chair, get some cool paper, and let's get busy. Hey, hey, welcome back to Junk Journal July. Today, of course, we're going to do a combo of a couple different prompts. I think that's just how we're going to roll through the end of this. I do apologize, but unfortunately, doing videos every day apparently is not as easy as it used to be. So with that being said, today we're going to do day 17, I'm pretty sure I didn't do day 17, and 18 and 19. And then we'll be caught up. Um, so my thought was, was we were going to do a floating pocket to put your tags in, to put inside of our junk journal. So that's where we're going to start. So I have a file folder that I just um, tore a shape out of. And it should be a decent size to go in our junk journal. So maybe we could just stick it like on this pocket or something. Um, so this is what we're going to work on first. And of course we're going to um, age it up a little bit. Just with some stamping and some inking. And I have this really cool collage sheet. There was a free printable from somebody. I don't know where it came from. Um... But that was kind of my thought as to what I'm going to cover it with. And then we'll make our own tags. actually going to um, crumble it up and make it hopefully look more aged and worn and weathered so if you've never done this you're probably thinking oh my god what is she doing but this once you unfold it and then you go over it with your ink it gives you so like see how they have the indents and then the raised parts okay so if you go over it with your ink let's see I brought one of the blendy things Where's that? there it is okay so I'm just gonna use this and actually I just got this probably from the Dollar Tree in like the cosmetic section um but if you go over it with your ink in all the different lines and stuff, it'll give more contrast to where those lines are sticking up. And you'll see it in a second. So if you go kind of just over it. And you don't want to smooth it out too much. I mean, obviously we have to smooth it out some so that we can... Uh, lay it back down on our paper but if you just go over where you see like the very pronounced lines and stuff and bends and folds you can kind of make your own if you don't have a ton and it just gives it this really cool worn vintage look So kind of like that and I mean you can even go as far as like you can tear it and everything I'm not going to but um, yeah I mean it makes it look super cool and super old and and vintagey so now we'll go ahead and glue it down Okay. 
and because it has all the lines and things in it, um, you don't want to smooth it down completely. I mean, obviously, you know, it's going to be down, um, but you're still going to kind of get the effect of the dimensional paper. There's that side, and I think it looks really cool. Um, now we're just going to flip it over and do a bit more on the back side because, again, it's going to be a floating pocket. So you want to make for sure that both of your sides are done. can just go ahead and glue our um, our side so our pocket will shut alright so we have a decent sized pocket and now that's going to dry for a couple minutes while we're making our text. So what I thought we would do is make a combination or use a combination of some already made tags that I think will look really cute in there. We could kind of turn these in a little bit to tags and then we can also make some of our own. And I have some um, copy dyed paper here. like that we got a bunch of tags out of one sheet of paper one two three four five six seven eight so we got eight tags out of one sheet of paper and like less than a minute right all right so what I thought is um, I'm already starting right with kind of like an aged base and then I have some scripty stamp and then I also have some numbers and a few kind of like um oh what did I bring butterflies I think and butterflies and flowers I think so And it doesn't have to be anything spectacular or perfect. You kind of just want like a really um, rough texture. And this thing is super old. I'm not even sure if it's going to work. But we're going to try it. I got it at a yard sale. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you, if this is going to ink right. We'll try it. 
right. now that I got it all over, here it goes. Well, sorta. It's not my favorite. Um, I'll clean that off later. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's smudged. Okay, so let's take some of this paper because I have extra and. We can just use it to collage. So there's that, and then let's do this bird cage because I think it's super cool. So that's fun. And then let's see, what else can we do? These don't like to come off of here. So there's one done and I'm going to leave the back plain because um, it's coffee dyed. So all I'm going to do is ink around the edges and then this one will be done. Fabulous. Now we can stick it in here because our pocket should be dry. Wonderful. And then let's grab another one. Um, what do we want to do on this one? So I have like music notes. I want to open. Super cute, okay. Then we could do a little. 
little bit of doily. little bit more of the paper because why not there's no sense to put it back in the craft or the scrap bin because then it's just gonna sit there okay and then let's see what else we can do these labels. These are super cute. Let's try one of these. So as you can see, just lay around, put whatever looks good to you on it. And it's easy to age some old stuff up. Just Get some ink and crumble some paper and you can even like fray the edges with your scissors. That's fun. So I'll just ink around this. And I'm almost out of time so I'm just going to finish this one and then um, I think I will call it a day. So I'm actually just going to cut this one in half because it just seems a little big. <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you know anyone who hasn't subscribed and you think, hey, maybe they would like this channel, definitely let them know. And I hope you guys are having fun with Junk Journal July. And I will check in with you guys soon. See ya! Hey, sorry about the um, very abrupt ending. My um, phone was almost out of storage. So at the top um, where it tells how long I've been recording, there was like a countdown and I had like less than a minute to go. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to finish this video. But... I, I fixed it. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I did. And I only finished the, um, <clears throat> the tag that we were on. And then I just stuck the rest of them in. Let's see. We'll do it on this page. I only stuck the rest of them in here. And then, you know, you can use them to decorate later on or whatever. So this is what it is. It's just going to be like... A clip over thing in your journal and it's super chunky because I have lots of tags in here now um, but what I decided to do is this is very forgiving like it can open a lot so that's good um, but I didn't want anything to get lost so I took a piece of doily and a piece of our paper and I just paper clipped it um, you don't have to do that you could actually attach all these together on like a little ring or something but that's just what I did. Um, so this is the one that we did together. This is the one that I finished. And then um, I just cut this out, did the tag shape, did a little stamping on it, inked around it. I cut this one out. All I did to this is I inked it to make it look more grungy. And then I just put the rest of our blank tags in here. So they'll be in here for a later time. So... I think it turned out super cute and I really like the idea because a we used up kind of a lot of our scraps and you know we got to use some of the stamps that a lot of times we don't use let's be honest and it was kind of fun to make something extra dirty and icky looking and it turned out really cute I think so I hope you guys did enjoy this again I'm so sorry for the abrupt ending before but you'll see this in the same video so Hopefully it's all good. Um, but yeah, until next time, guys. Happy crafting. See ya.